You probably already know microplastics are everywhere. They're in our food, our water, even in the air we breathe. But here's what most people never think about, your clothing. It's actually one of the biggest sources of plastic exposure. A couple of years ago, I stopped drinking out of plastic water bottles, and I hope you have by now too. My family, we ditched the plastic cookware even longer ago. We made these changes because we knew plastic was leaching chemicals into our food and water, but I never thought about my clothes. Turns out, synthetic fabrics like polyester, nylon, and spandex shed microplastics every time you wear them, every time you wash them. And those tiny plastic fibers, they don't just disappear. A 2023 study found microplastics in 80% of human blood samples. Another study linked them to a four and a half times higher risk of heart disease and stroke because they get embedded in human arteries. Not to scare you, but it gets worse. Scientists have found microplastics in the lungs, causing inflammation and scarring, in brain tissue, where levels were 10 times higher in dementia patients, in testosterone and semen, linked to lower fertility and hormone imbalances, and even in placentas and breast milk, which means exposure starts before birth. Most people, they think they're only getting exposed through food and water, but one of the biggest hidden sources is our training gear. Flip the tag on your Nike, Adidas, or your favorite gym shorts. You'll see polyester, nylon, spandex, it's all plastic. Every workout, your clothes shed microplastics into your skin. Every wash, they release over 700,000 plastic fibers into the water supply. And when you sweat, your pores open up, making it even easier for your body to absorb them. Here's what's actually in some of the biggest brands. Nike uses up to 100% polyester in their performance wear. Adidas, 70 to 96% polyester in most of their training gear. Fabletics, 81 to 89% polyester in their leggings and tops. And the list goes on. Polyester is plastic and there's no way around it. When I started learning about this, I realized I was doing everything right. Training hard, eating clean, optimizing my sleep and recovery, but I was still wearing plastic every single day. So I made a change. I threw out all my synthetic gym gear and switched to organic cotton and merino wool. Now, I only train in Riker clothing because the reality is we're exposed to too much plastic. Why add more? And here's the thing. We have no idea how much plastic is actually inside us. I wanted answers, so I went looking for the solution. I've been working with a manufacturer to develop an at-home microplastics test. It's a simple fingerprint test that measures the most common microplastics found in humans. It's available now, and for the first time, you can actually see what's in your body. Because if you don't test, you're ultimately just guessing. This isn't about fear. It's about awareness. You can't avoid microplastics completely, but you can reduce your exposure. I thought I'd leave you with some simple ways to limit just how much plastic your body absorbs. First and foremost, check your clothing tags. If it says polyester, nylon, or spandex, it's plastic. Start replacing your training gear. Shorts, underwear, and compression gear are the worst offenders. Filter your water. Unfiltered tap water contains over 100,000 microplastic particles per year. And ditch the plastic food containers and cookware because heat makes plastic leach even faster. And if you want to take it a step further, get tested. The link to the microplastics test we just launched is in the description below. It's the first step in understanding your exposure so you can make better decisions for your health. Most people, they just focus on what they put in their bodies, but what you put on your body matters just as much. Drop a comment below. Did you know your clothes could be exposing you to microplastics? I certainly didn't. And no doubt you'll be hearing more about microplastics as new information and studies are released. If you enjoyed this video and you're not subscribed yet, please do so and I'll see you in the next video.